What's up guys? Welcome to Hamad YouTube channel. My name is Idan and this is Jonathan from Gig Nation YouTube channel. And today we're gonna test out and see does it make sense to do gig economy jobs like uh, delivery for food companies? It doesn't make sense if you have two people. Now I know some companies allow it, some companies don't. Uh, you said that you made a video with DoorDash and uh, they pretty much clarified that you can do it with two people. Yep, two people is cool on DoorDash. Okay, so we can do it two people with DoorDash. I'm not sure about the others, so don't try this at home unless you do your own research uh, if it's allowed or not. But what we're trying to do is to see if it's worth it because we're going to have to split whatever we're making and let's see if it's if it's short in our time. For example, if you have to go and, and deliver an, a product, you have to find parking first. Now it's two people. We can just park somewhere. Yeah, easy. Right, so let's see if it's going to save us any money or if we can make more uh, by saving us time to do gig economy jobs for two people at the same time. So we're using a Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're gonna fill up the gas and see how much gas we spent, like I always do. Uh, it is a pretty uh, gas guzzling car, uh, so maybe your car will be less. And you also have to calculate the, uh, you know, maintenance and oil changes and all that. It's usually 58 cents per mile is a good indication yeah. of how much, you know, that's how the tax deduction is. Standard deduction. Yeah, so we're gonna use that. And uh, what apps we're gonna use today? We're gonna do DoorDash, Postmates, and maybe a little bit of Instacart in there. Okay, I think uh, Instacart will be makes more sense because uh, we do shopping so we can split the groceries, right? You yeah. can do some, I can do some, go split, do it real quick and then come together. Um, and then the DoorDash and the Postmates, you said? Oh. Mm -hmm. So yeah. DoorDash and Postmates will be just faster. One car waits, in, one person waits in the car, another car, another person go pick it up. Yep, you're getting guess. all the prime parking spots. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start our apps right now on our phones, uh, all of them at the same time. All right. And let's see how many jobs we get and how much money can we make. Our first order, this is QFC Quality Food Center, so we might need to do some shopping. This is for Postmates. Let's go to our first one together. All right, so we just picked up another order through Postmates, same QFC, so we're gonna roll in there, pick up both of these, and then try and get them to both of the customers in time so they're still hot. This should make this a little more efficient, and hopefully we're making more money getting two orders at the same place. I will not recommend this, though, because you know, maybe it's two different directions. We're hoping it's close by. Yeah, we don't know. We didn't really look at both of the drops, so we could be we could be going far apart. We could be we could be everywhere. But we are fast. Yep. So we are heading out of the QFC right now, and we don't have anything to show for it. That's right. Don's order got canceled on him, and when I went to try and pay for my order, I realized that I left my Postmates card in my car. It's not in here, so I had to cancel that one. Hopefully Postmates doesn't get mad and, you know, fire me for this. And hopefully we have some better luck on our next order. So we're heading down to Picado Bueno. Idan picked up a Postmates order. We're gonna check that one up. Uh, hopefully we end up making some money today. Yeah, don't, don't forget your card. They say it, that was completely our fault. Uh, don't forget your card when you go in because sometimes orders require you to use the card and if you don't have it, you're just wasting their time and your time. So, yep. <laughs> Lesson learned. Move on. So we've got the order here from Picado Bueno. Yep. And we are heading to the customer's address. We're going to go drop it off. That's right. Okay, guys. We're going to go and deliver our first delivery for today from Postmates. All right, guys. So I just finished the delivery. We got $5.05. I hope there's some tip in it because that's not a lot of money. Okay, picking up a Subway uh, sandwich from DoorDash. We've got it. So Idan just dropped off his order. We're in this apartment complex. It took him a minute to find everything. I picked up a Postmates order before we had finished this one. And so Postmates just notified me that they know we were headed in the wrong direction. Apparently they're watching me, so we're gonna try and get this dropped off quick so that Postmates doesn't get uh, more angry. I already canceled the order earlier, so they've got a few things to be mad about. <laughs> yeah, we only got uh, $4.75 for this order. Splitting it, splitting it to two people, it's like two bucks each or something. I think now we're gonna take a break. We're gonna go eat something. Yes. We've been working for an hour. 
it was not a good hour, but maybe now after we eat, we figure things out how to make this happen. It might be mm -hmm. maybe better, but we'll try. We'll try again. So we started our shift again, and we have an order here from the Ram, right? That's how it's called. Yep. So we're waiting for it. We had to wait ten minutes for the order to get ready. I guess we're too early. All right, got the goods. This is a twenty-one dollar pickup from the Ram. Drop this off with the customer, and you know, make some good, good cash on it. Drop off successful, $21 made, and we're gonna see if we can pick up the next order now. We got $21 for this delivery, that's pretty good. It was $12 for the tip, and then $8 for the um, the base delivery price. That's pretty high. I should try Grubhub next to make a video about it. I don't think I have a video about it yet. Pays pretty good. Grubhub's a great move, yeah. That was like less than three miles, took maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, that, Not was, bad. that was the best one so far. Okay guys, so we finished our three deliveries. We spent about, I will say an hour and a half. Yeah. Right? yeah. We finished it kind of early just to test out how it works. And we made a total of uh, $5.05 from DoorDash. From Postmates, we made $4.75. From Grubhub, we made $21.09. Now we're still waiting for some tips from, um, we might have some tips from the other apps, so we're not sure exactly how much. It might be a few yeah. bucks more. Could be more than that. Uh, but that's about $30.89. Now, we did spend some gas on miles and stuff. Uh, we use um, the government 15, 58 cents per mile rate, and that comes up to about $12. So we made about $19, uh, $18 and some cents for an hour and a half for two people. Yeah. You divide that by two, it's like $4 an hour or something. Yeah. Not, not that much. Not very good. So it doesn't seem like we have much added value to it uh, to do it together, uh, but it's worth a try. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's worth a try. Um, we didn't end up doing any Instacart batches. I think maybe uh, having two people in the store getting groceries could help out. As far as the food delivery goes, I mean, if you want to bring a friend along, you might have some more fun. You might have a good right. conversation, uh, but you're not going to be making that much more money, um, at least on the first run. You know, maybe it gets better. Maybe yeah, we might need to try a little bit more together, uh, maybe as a team somehow with multiple phones, multiple apps going at the same time and being very fast at it and uh, not filming at the same time because that also takes a little bit of time of it too. Exactly. And it's also our first time kind of meeting up and that's how we kind of communicated so that a little bit took at the time too. So we, we're gonna maybe practice this a little bit more, see if it's worth it. But for what we experienced, yeah, it's more for fun factor yeah. rather than actually making money. Uh, but it was a fun experiment to do and it's definitely much more fun to do it uh, to people than one person by yourself. Yeah. So yeah, don't forget to check Jonathan's YouTube channel, Gig Nation and it's the link below, you can subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel How Much. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment below if you ever did it with a friend or, per or another person, if you ever got any extra payments from that or any benefit that we didn't notice. And, yes. and uh, that's it guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Welcome back guys, you're probably wondering why this part of the video exists. It's because I need 10 minutes on every video I post. So, this video was sponsored by a net 3d printer from gearbest it's the et4 uh, they actually gave me a hundred bucks off it's about 200 dollars it took me about 30 minutes to set it up and it works pretty good i actually kind of like it and uh, i always wanted the 3d printer that's big enough to create big things right now we're creating a dog sample that came with it with a little uh, micro sd card and of course like every ending of my videos we're gonna go and see weiler my dog now, let me show you some tricks of my dog, Wilder. All right, high five. Turn around. Down. Bang. Stay. Bang. Bang. Go up. up. Sit. Go around me. Go around. Back. Back some more, back. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more Wildlife.